Hi, I am Cheryl and this is Grandma Irene, a young 94 year old who is going to share with us today her most delicious and easiest spaghetti sauce ever. I've got about two pounds of beef short ribs and I've cut them up into small pieces. I'm going to put salt, salt and a little pepper. Then I'm going to saute them. So we'll need a little oil. Yeah. And you want to put that on high, Grandma Irene? I'm going to have it on high to begin with to, until they all are... Until they're all brown. What she does with her tomatoes is she takes a tomato at a time. Roma tomatoes work the best. And she squishes them down and flattens them right out because we want to reduce these down afterwards and this is the easiest way to do that. Don't put them in the blender because it'll make it too gushy. Now how long do you leave those brown for? Until they're brown on all sides and then you turn it down and simmer it and add a little water as you go along. After the brown, you add water to them and then just cook till, timmer, till tender and you simmer them? That's right. Okay. Now this recipe was given to Irene by a, an Italian chef in the 1920s. So we're not sure exactly where the original came from, but she's been making this all of her life. I was up to a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne. Maybe knock it back just a little bit. Approximately a teaspoon of salt. A quarter of a teaspoon of salt. About a, a teaspoon of sugar. Once again, brown sugar is good. If you don't have white or if you prefer brown, doesn't really matter. Then we'll just mix this all together. I'm going to do a hot and boil. Bring it to a boil and then uh, we'll just let it simmer from that until it's reduced right down. Now they've been cooking about an hour and a half at this point, so and we seem tender. And we've added water, little at a time. And now we get, the tomatoes are have reduced down. As you can see, there's not much liquid left. So at this point, just add it to the. And that's your sauce ready for the spaghetti. Mm. Looks good. It smells <laughs> good. So there we go. Grandma Irene's <laughs> short ribs and best spaghetti sauce you ever tasted, truly.